Hi everyone, so today's video 5 um, is actually 5a. I, I broke up 5 into 5a and 5b, solving linear equations that have fractions. Doesn't that sound fun? Um, well, I'm going to let you on a little secret. The little secret is you really can make linear equations with fractions really easy for yourself. You can clear them. Clearing fractions means get rid of them. Why work with them if you don't have to? Um, it is a way to simplify and make an equation cleaner to work with. So if we have equations with fractions in them, any kind of equations with fractions, if you can remember to clear them out, you are going to make your life that much easier. All right, so let's talk about it. I break them into two categories. My first category is the equations that have parentheses. Now, we have to handle them slightly different, okay? If an equation has parentheses, uh, there's a couple ways you can do it. Most kids like to distribute, but I would say don't do that. You can get rid of the fraction by multiplying by the reciprocal of this fraction to both sides. Because remember, the word algebra comes from the idea that you have to balance the equation. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So in this equation, for example, I want to get rid of the 1 half. So I'm going to multiply two by 2, the reciprocal of 2, 1 half, which is 2 over 1, on both sides. So 2 over 1. And so I'm going to clear the fractions. Now, when I multiply that by, by 2, because 1 half is being multiplied by x plus 2, I, oh, I don't have to multiply 2 to the x plus 2. It's going to cancel out right here, and I'm done with it. I'm left with x plus 2. And then on the right side, um, 9 times 2 gives me 18. And then I have an equation that has no, um, no fractions in them any longer. I've cleared them out, and I subtract 2. So x equals 16. All right, now just a reminder, the ones with parentheses, I didn't distribute. I multiplied um, by the reciprocal of the number that is in the front. Um, now, if an equation doesn't have parentheses, um, then yes, you can do the same kind of thing. You can subtract the 2, okay? And then you have 1 half x equals 7. And then again, you multiply both sides by the reciprocal. 2, uh, 2 over 1, so I'm just going to say that's 2, and I get x equals 14. All right, so these are basic equations, but what about if they're harder? They're harder equations with fractions in them. So without parentheses and a lot more fractions going on, this is where this idea of clearing fractions can really be our friend. So to clear fractions, the first thing you do is you find the lowest common denominator. And in this case, if I looked at all of these, and I'm actually going to write this one over 1. I'm going to write that term over 1. Um, the lowest common denominator would be 6. So instead of making all the denominators the same, I'm actually going to multiply 6 to every single term. I'm going to multiply every term by 6. And look what happens. In the first equation, I can simplify. 3 goes into 6 2 times, and then I have 2 times 2, which gives me 4x. Look, I got rid of the fraction. I cleared the fraction. All right, in the next term, 2 goes into 6 3 times. 3 times 1 gives me 3, so 3x. Almost done. Keep going. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. You don't want to forget to multiply that 6 to anything. On this side, the 6 is actually canceled to 1, right? So it just becomes 5. Now, we do have to remember, if there's no, like this 2x didn't have a fraction, you still have to multiply to it. So that becomes 12x. The whole point here was to get rid of the fractions, and we did. All right, so now we handle this like it's an equation, a linear equation. We combine like terms on each side, so we get 7x equals 5 plus 12x. Okay, we want to isolate the variable, so I'm going to bring the 7x to the other side. I always bring the smaller variable to the larger. And then I'm going to bring the, I'm sorry, plus, plus 5x, and I'm going to bring the 5 to the other side by subtracting it. And I get negative 5 equals 5x, and then I divide by 5. 
so negative 1 equals x. This idea of clearing fractions is really important. Um, I do have a longer video if you feel like you need some more exercises. It is in the um, additional notes on the, on the YouTube page. Thanks and have a great night.